So, my 1953 Alice Chalmers CA. My grandfather owned this hell as long as I can remember. I know my dad was the one that painted it because I remember we bought it off a family friend that who got it and it was not that color. It was the color of yellow because I remember going up and then looking at it in his barn and then us buying it and bring it home. And I think we used it when we were still part of the Antique Tractor Club. I think we used it pulling a couple times, but I know it was up there for the gathering of the orange. And it, uh, uh, ta -ta -ta. it, uh, but it pretty much spent its working life around his, it's most of my life, I should say, around his farm running the, our hay tether that my dad now owns it uh it was really it's really nice for running the hay tether considering this right here the hand clutch because you got a thick spot in hay you could just pull that back and keep the you know and ease the tractor through the spot and break up those heavier clumps and i know we ran it behind my grandfather's big uh well not big the little massy 124 square baler that he had, well, had. Now my cousin owns it. And then I know we used to tow wagons with it here and there, but the hand clutch slips, so you got to be kind. So it's kind of not the greatest. And then the other big thing about it is you can't really do a whole lot of pulling work with it is because this tire is, well, practically bald, but... It explains it considering that's a good year. And then this one's practically new. So you can see how fun it is when you get that side in a wet spot. But luckily, if you're plowing with it, that's a side that's in the furrow. So, But it's a really nice tractor. And then, well, when he got off the, well, then it been, well, yeah, 2019, the, he had his stroke. So then the tractor stopped getting used a lot. And he started, uh, and well, I, and I'd go up there and start him once in a while, but this tractor had dead battery at the time because that little thing right there, the generator, and he had a eight volt battery in it instead of a 12 volt battery. So it, it's technically a six volt system, but a lot of guys to get around that whole six volt issues, they put an eight volt battery in it. Well, this one was having troubles and it didn't, we, and come to find out as the battery cables because i got i bought it when i got it off of him would be the spring of this year i uh well bought it off my grandmother which i didn't technically buy it it was given to me but that's a story for another day or later on but i had the eight volt battery in it and i tried charging that battery and i couldn't get a good connection come to find out the battery cables were screwed were so i got the bigger like big 12 gauge cables on it that thing spun over like brand new well then Still couldn't get it to fire, so then I kept having. It. So then I found out. So we put a new. I put a new coil in it. That didn't help. Then we put a new condenser, and then we. I ha was having issues where it wouldn't. It, the six volt battery still wouldn't turn it over, and it was a brand new battery. So I said the hell of it. I checked with my dad, and he just said unhook the generator, put that twelve volt battery in it, and it will be fine. You won't blow the generator up, and it starts like a dream now. It's. A really nice little handy tractor i just one of these days got to tear into that hand clutch and uh probably fix that or adjust something i'm not really sure yet i gotta go through i'm and it's still the original pin pin hitch but i'm probably gonna convert it to snap coupler at some point whether i do that or not and then also the biggest thing is it's not gonna keep the wide front. It's probably gonna be turned into a narrow front. Now you're probably thinking, what the fuck's wrong with you? Well, I like narrow front tractors a lot more, but and anyways, my grandfather always wanted a narrow front CA and he did have a part CA that he was gonna try to turn into a narrow front tractor, but that petered out. So he was gonna put the narrow front on this tractor and never got around to it. But I'm gonna put the narrow front end on it and there's some other stuff I gotta do to this tractor. Like eventually I wanna put lights on it specifically leds don't ask why and then he put that step on it but it was but i mean i will it, it he of course bubble gum welded it on there 
and it's not the greatest job at doing it, but A, these tractors are a pain in the ass to get on and off of because they didn't really, Alice Chalmers really never thought of it when they come out with like the B, the C, and the CA tractors. So, you know, he put that stuff on there just so it would make it easier for him because he was kind of having a little trouble getting around. But, yeah, but I'm debating on whether taking it off, but it's really handy, but it, it, I don't know. I mean, not that I really care. I'm not one of those people that needs everything 100% correct, and I can care less, but really, I don't know what else to say about the tractor other than it does have a rear mounted sickle mower for it, which I do got to get that at some point and fix the pitman arm because that broke on my grandfather. And then I'm going to put it on this. And then I, and then he also shortened the bar, the cut a bar on that mower from seven foot to five foot. So I got to either find one that's seven foot to put back on it or something. I'm not sure. And then, oh, what else? Well, other than the only other thing I know this tractor's done, because I mean, she was, well, he had, oh, what was it? He had more of these little small tractors around the farm than he did have big tractors. I mean, we had, well, when I was real, real little, the only tractors we had was the D17 and my uncle's big 70 horse or 80 horse Kubota tractor. And then he had this and then an Alice Chalmers B. And I think he had, what else? And I, th and I think we also had the C at the time, but I don't really think that C, well, the C was more or less, we bought it and fixed it up for a pulling tractor, but then eventually it did start doing some chores around there. But that thing has a lot of running issues and fits. It did. My dad got it now and it seems to be fine, but yeah. I don't know what else to really say about this tractor other than right now I am having kind of a little issue with it. I seem to have somehow either gotten water in the oil or it's just from, it's got condensation in the condensation in the oil, but it's, I really like the tractor and everyone always tells me that these small tractors are useless. You can't do anything with them. It's like, well, many a people did stuff with them for many and many years. And, and it's not really about the, it's not the tractor. That's the problem. It's usually the driver. Cause they usually try to do something stupid, but I grew up on enough of these small tractors doing stuff that you really shouldn't do with them to know that where you push your luck and where you don't push your luck, which, but since this tractor really hasn't gotten a actual spotlight video, mostly driving around videos and whatnot. But I mean, my John Deere B and my WC are my two favorite tractors, but this is right up there. Cause I'm pretty sure this was the first tractor I drove if I remember correctly. Cause I know I was a wee little pipsqueak cause I couldn't reach the hand clutch. And then when my grandfather, cause some, we had somebody else at the time hay in his fields when he was pretty well done full-time fireman. Uh, well, full tie hobby farm, and at that time, I think I can't remember. It's been a while, but they were doing baleage in that field, in this field behind the farm. And I remember he asked me to take him down there, and he I got in the tractor, and I couldn't reach the clutch or the brake. And so I remember backing it back into the barnyard. I couldn't, for the life of me, push the clutch in to stop. So he had to. He told me try pulling back on the hand clutch. Well, when you're you know eight years old, uh, not eight years old. I think I was younger than that actually I can't remember it's been a long while but I couldn't pull back the hand clutch so I remember he had to pull back on it for me to stop I got it out of gear and then but yeah and then then I ran this tractor another time when I was real little when I was actually starting to step up in the farm and world I used this one uh break and hang all right, we're back. UPS truck was here dropping off something. But yeah, so the first thing I think I ever did, I can't remember if 
this was something i can't remember if i know this was the first tractor i drove i'm pretty sure of that i know the first tractor i ever rode on was the d17 spreading shit with my grandfather couldn't really do much other than sit there between his legs and turn the steering wheel left or right when he told me to but i know that uh, this is the first tractor I drove and i can't remember if the first kind of work i did around the farm was helping him pick up fence where i was driving our c the the c that my dad has now the narrow front one that he has or if i was if it was this when i raked hay i guess you could call it considering all i really did was just the, the wind was blowing pretty good and he had me go around and ahead of him and my brother and my cousin and put the windrows back together and i'm trying to think if that was the first time i drove no it would have been this was that would have been the second time because the first time it was on that sea with the hay wagon it was the first work i've actually done on that farm when i was i think i know i couldn't reach the pedals on that sea because the day he had me hooking up to his old trailer to take stuff up to our burn pile i was trying to push the clutch in and i couldn't push it in i backed over the i almost backed it up over the little trailer hitch twice and finally he had take over because i couldn't reach the pedal and but yeah and but and then i got and then i of course yeah so oh what else to say well hopefully in a few more days or weeks or whatever sometime i'll get some time in to get the uh a little bit better breakdown stories on all the tractors of mine that i own and the ones my dad owned but it's a little but uh what was i gonna say um yeah i just oh yeah now i know what i was gonna say uh i did stories on those tractors before but they weren't the great those were my first youtube videos and they weren't the greatest ones that was when i was first starting out but i'm getting a little better at this so i'm gonna try to go back through and do those again but yeah have a good one folks